This is a recap of today's Creative Commons open source office hours hosted on codebuddies.org. Today we've been working on the creativecommons.org website redesign. It's a work in progress project. And we're continuing down our Figma mockup to create uh, one of the homepage sections and kind of breaking that into Gutenberg blocks to see how closely we can approximate this mock-up. We've gone through quite a few sections of the home page and have found some various trade-offs, shortcomings, uh, both in uh, and good qualities uh, uh, in Gutenberg and our own CSS style. So there's just, this is an uh, exploratory task and we're just going to use the gleanings here to decide how to proceed with development so that we can launch this redesign in a timely manner. So here's the reference and what I've done is broken the reference into what I believe are the closest fit Gutenberg blocks and also learned about a new group block today. I previously had been using columns uh, even when there was a single column but it turned out the columns were inside of a group and I I uh, looked at that directly. So the first attempt here was just uh, to treat these both as individual, not even put them in a container, just uh, change the background of the header and paragraph. Um, the header supports full width uh, layout. The paragraph does not allow full width layout. So that was just not gonna work out. Unfortunately, we have to add a, a containing element here. But I believe that would have been the most ideal solution provided this um, gap wouldn't be displayed uh, on the front end. But I believe it uh, typically is only visible in the editor, but as we'll see in a moment, that's not the case. There's some definite inconsistency across Gutenberg blocks and between the Gutenberg editor and the WordPress front. And I know it's a big, it's a monumental project and there's like a lot of trade-offs, a lot of developers, so inconsistency is natural. So I went to the go-to uh, columns container where I've used before knowing that you can have a full width columns even in the case of a single column. Uh, caveat here is I think our styles are defining a couple of grades, uh, shades of gray text here. And what we want to do is have a darker shade or more contrast on the text. So we want to have black on yellow. So I believe that can be done, well, this definitely can be done through the editor, through the Gutenberg editor by changing the font color. We can also do it globally. Uh, depending on how we want the default uh, text color to render. I do think it, it is nice to have um, gray text on a white background, but it seems like a lot of our, our font colors, except in the menu, are pretty close to black. So the next approach I realized, well, let's just try out the block, the group block. So group block does allow full width display, and I could easily just move these heading and paragraph into the group block. But when it rendered, uh, we had some issues that were, there was an inconsistency between the editing interface where the full width adding a color background adds a padding to the element. And this has been justified as, um, I opened an issue in the WordPress core. I'm not quite sure where the, I think it's a bigger issue just than WordPress, but essentially, you know, it's, it just doesn't look good to have text up against the edge of a container in general, particularly when you're adding a color. So I think um, that's the justification for adding a margin, or is it padding? margin padding. In our case, in any case, when changing the color, I believe the padding should be there always, despite a, uh, a separate like D uh, coupled from changing the um, color. And furthermore, I think it's on the roadmap to allow the content editor to set the margin and padding from the Gutenberg editor. So that'll be the ideal solution. In case it's a small CSS fix that we can handle downstream, not too worried about it. The fifth section here, it's actually part of this, it's like a two part, uh, is a little more complicated. And out of the gate, I know that we don't have, at least I'm pretty sure Gutenberg doesn't provide an accordion, like collapsible thing that would need JavaScript on the front end. Um, but it does have, you know, image element, heading, and paragraph. So uh, the first thing I noticed, though, is the group element 
and this might also be the case with um, columns, but uh, it's allowing this paragraph margin to overflow. And so it created that gap that I was concerned with earlier between these elements because we don't, this is gapless. And even though I'm using two Gutenberg blocks, it should be kind of feel like one section of the front page. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there's a simple way of fixing that. Um, Stack Overflow, of course. Um, the box sizing is correct. We want border box so that it contains the uh, child elements, but this we need to hide the overflow in this case. And I hope we can just apply that to the WP block group selector, and that won't have uh, any adverse effects. It's a small fix, one line of code. Other than that, the columns block is our uh, pal here. We've got an image with caption on the left. Uh, the difference is the default WordPress image styles place the caption below the image. We might decide if we need a custom image style for the MVP or if we can punt that to another time. Um, we don't have to 100% follow the Figma mockups. They're getting us down the line. Uh, using headings and paragraphs uh, was able to pretty much uh, replicate the at least look and feel, but not the functionality. So we would have to determine if we need um, the collapsible sections for the minimum viable product. I, I think this is pretty well contained that they're not taking up a lot of vertical space. Um, my recommendation would be to uh, just use headings and paragraphs. Keep it simple. Keep things simple so we can move the project forward and get the MVP out the door. All right. Well, this has been a code buddies live code hangout if you'd like to join this or other hangouts stop by codebuddies.org and it's part of the creative commons open source initiative we've got a lot of um, projects at creative commons all, that are open source uh, not just wordpress we've got python and django projects as well if you'd like to get involved and uh, vue.js i should mention we've got a, a cc license chooser that's made with vue if you'd like to get involved with these projects stop by open source Dot creativecommons.org. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.